Hi there, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. Today I want to share something with you that I did last week, or maybe it was two weeks ago now. I think it was about a week ago. Um, I ordered used watercolors on Amazon. So I didn't even know they sold used stuff. I know that they had like um, the Amazon warehouse, which was like, I, I think returns or whatnot. But um, I had been curious about a couple small tins of watercolors because I had some viewers ask about them. Well, one was um, the paper fashion watercolors that came out like a year ago, but they never came to my local stores and I thought they were kind of expensive for what they were, so I didn't want to order them online for full price. They were like 30 bucks for a set of 12 and I suspect they're very similar to the Jane Davenport watercolors, which I do like in the Prima watercolors, but they're also, um, you know, made by the Mungio company and I have a set of 48 of those, so I figured they're probably going to be duplicate colors, so it's like I don't want to spend full price on that and be proved right. Um, so I, I just kind of held off. I was hoping they would come to like a Joann's or a Michael's or AC Moore and I'd be able to use a coupon, but that never happened. Um, and also I was interested in the Illustrated Faith watercolors because I've had a few viewers ask me about Bible journaling and that's not something I do, but I was wondering if maybe those watercolors might be better suited for non-watercolor paper, like um, unsized paper and whatnot. And I knew those were made by PBO and I've never used PBO's watercolors before, but I have used other products by PBO that I've really liked, so I was curious to try them. So I was browsing on Amazon Warehouse, and I think the how I, I've never like seen everything together in one spot from Amazon Warehouse or Amazon Used, I can't remember what they called it, um, but I had gotten an email and it was about, um, it was from Amazon, and it was like, learn how we recycle our packages, or learn how to, um, to learn what we do with our cardboard or something. I don't know, it was some like environmental thing and I would and I clicked on it because I was curious how I could recycle my boxes from Amazon. And um, it said something about um, buy used instead of, instead of new. And I thought, oh, that's kind of neat because, um, you know, hey, if I'm just buying something to try out and, you know, I could buy it used. So, you know, a new thing doesn't have to be made. I'm like, yeah, absolutely, I'll give it a try. So I got these right here. Um, they did come in two different shipments, which, probably because they were at different warehouses maybe. Um, and it says Amazon Warehouse, great deals on quality used products. There's a sticker on that one, same sticker on this one. I'm not sure if it's going to focus. Eh, it's not really focusing. Um, but that's what it says if you can't read it because it's out of focus. And uh, let's open these up and see how they look. I told a friend of mine that I, that I had ordered used watercolors and he's like, ew, the yellow is going to be all mixed up with the green. Gross. But it's brand new. What the heck? These are all like completely wrapped up in their plastic, um, in the plastic and the paper. Oh my gosh. It doesn't even look like nothing's been mixed on this path. Ah, that's great. So those are the paper fashion ones. I was very curious about those. Um, I'll be very interested to swatch these out and compare them with the Jane Davenport Prima and Mungio paints that I have. And um, and I do love the packaging. It's so cute. Yeah, when that line of, that line for American Crafts called Paper Fashion came out, I was so looking forward to finding that um, when I went to the stamp show last year because there's a huge Michaels down there um, in Springfield, Massachusetts, and I was hoping that they would have like a display of all those new products, but they didn't. So um, it's like ah, I don't want to pay thirty dollars for that when I think it's probably going to be the same quality as like the Prima watercolors. So oh, I got that for sixteen dollars by the way. It was regular thirty. And these were regular 26 and I got them for 13 So it seems to be the used price is like half of what the new price is. So we're going to open this up. I thought it was interesting that, um, that the tin was white on this and that it had like three bumps on the cover instead of the typical two that usually you see with these pans. So I was curious about that. And look at that. I mean, it's shrink wrapped even. Why won't that focus? It wants to focus on me. It doesn't need to focus on me. Um, yeah, everything's all shrink wrapped. It comes with a little brush. Uh, it looks like a brush that you put together. Yeah, you put it together to make a long brush. Um, and that's kind of weird. It comes with a brush that looks like a... Uh, it looks like the like the Chinese brush painting brushes, which are usually, well, you know, they usually use that on rice paper. So maybe these watercolors are more designed for like rice paper, which would make sense if the, you were using them in like a Bible journal or something like that. And when I first heard about Bible journaling, I had to ask one of my friends because I didn't understand um, what it was. And when I think of a Bible, I think of like those um, onion skin type 
really, really thin pages. And um, my friend told me that, no, they have like a, there's like Bible study journals that people use. And there's like, like a, a margin where people can write and journal and stuff. Because I thought people would be very upset if they heard about other people like writing in their Bible. But apparently there are there are Bibles that are meant for like note taking and stuff. And that's what people are journaling on. So they are, I guess, a thicker paper. But um, yeah, maybe these are more like uh, an Eastern style watercolor. I'm very curious about these. I will be reviewing these um, and I will be reviewing these as well. You can let me know what you're more interested in. But um, hey, I bought used watercolors on Amazon and they weren't even used. <laughs> <laughs> drama, drama, clickbait. Uh, people are going to be very disappointed when they click on this video, but it is a great way to save some money. And um, I'm not, uh, I'm not opposed to use supplies. I actually buy supplies at, on yard sales. I used to do it a lot more uh, because now I have so much I don't really need to. I'll leave it for somebody else. But um, yeah, when I was getting started, you know, broke artist, I would buy, I bought like some of the Tombow markers in my stash are from yard sales. And I can tell when I find those because they have like tape on them from the previous owner had put a uh, strip of tape on their markers so they would know whose was whose like in a class and whatnot and they they work great um you know colored pencils as long as you know they haven't been dropped or anything i've bought beads at yard sales i've bought pastels um tubes of paint you can pretty much tell if a tube of paint is soft or hard when you're buying it at a yard sale um and i often give supplies away because i I get a lot in um, from companies asking me to review their products and it gets to a point where it's like, I can't, I can't use all of this. And I, ke I keep versions of all the supplies for companies that I work with, like that I have as clients, but I don't keep everything that's come in. But I always have a friend or I always know um, a teen or like a teacher that could use the extra supplies. So I'm, I'm a big fan of used supplies. So I guess I would just say, don't be afraid to try buying used on Amazon. Um, I worked out well for me and I got brand new stuff for half the price, which is crazy. I was expecting like the stuff to be used. I would not have complained if, you know, it had been used because that's what I expected. I expected, I was kind of worried. I'm like, oh, did somebody get these and then try them out and realize they weren't very good and then send them back to Amazon um, for a refund. But that is not the case. I'm wondering what the story is. Maybe somebody got a Christmas present and they didn't really want it and they shipped it back for a refund. Who knows? Who can say? Wouldn't it be interesting to find out what happened to these things before they were in our possession? Well, that's it. Um, that's all I have for you today. I just wanted to kind of look at this and see what what we got. Um, uh, because I, I don't know, I, I was very, I was just very curious when I saw there were used watercolors, used supplies. Um, maybe a box got dinged or dented and they couldn't sell it as new. I have no idea. They both said used very good or used like new. So it's, um, it's kind of curious. I would definitely do it again. If I, I, if I was in the market for something and they had a used version, totally would try it. And don't be afraid to shop your thrift stores, um, share products with friends, and, um, you know, get those products used. Products don't want to sit on your shelf. You might as well use them. Oh, something else that I do sometimes, um, and this only works if you have friends that also craft, but um, there's been times when I would be going to buy some scrapbooking paper and they have those pads of paper at all the big box stores. And oftentimes they have like two or three sheets of each design. And if you only need like one sheet, maybe you're making cards and not doing like two page layouts in your scrapbooks, you can like each buy a pad of paper and then go through and divide it up. So, you know, each three of your friends each buy a pad of paper and then you divide it up and then you give a 30 year stack to each friend and then you have like tripled the variety for the same amount of money as one pad of paper. So that's another thing you can do, you know, buy in bulk and share and, um, and, it, and it, it saves money. So that's a good thing, but it also keeps you from having stuff kicking around that you're never going to get to because sometimes the amount you get is just so much. So Eh, there's just some thoughts there for you. Uh, use supplies. Yay. Uh, I'm pleased. I'm pleased with how that, how that went. I was very surprised. I was expecting maybe some smudgy little colors that I have to wipe off the tops of, but they're perfect. They're brand new. Used. <laughs> Amazon don't know used, apparently. <laughs> That's all for today. I hope you found this somewhat entertaining. I know it wasn't dramatic, but um, there you have it. Till next time. Happy crafting.